Hi, my name is Julie Miley, Curator of Manuscripts here at the Hayes Presidential Library and Museums. And today I just wanted to talk about some of our President Hayes materials um, in the Manuscripts Division. You know, we say we house the papers of President Hayes. Well, what does that encompass? You know, what kind of papers does that mean? So I thought it'd be nice to bring out a sampling of what all that means. And um, this is definitely not all of it, but I think it's a good start. So. Um, right here in the center is some of the Hayes family albums, the photo photograph albums. We have several dozen of these. This one in particular is album number one um, that I brought out. And the page that I have up right now is President Hayes and his daughter Fanny, who is dressed in um, a costume that was made while she was in the White House um, for one of the parties that they had. She's dressed as Martha Washington. Um, and you'll see that image here within the museum if you ever visit us. And we still have um, the dress here on display as well. So um, over to the side here, this is one of his diaries. We have, I believe, roughly 28 versions, um, volumes of these. He started a diary as a young boy, um, kind of dropped off and then kept, um, uh, kept up with it as an adult and through his entire adult life up until his death, he wrote in these diaries. Um, so these are a great resource for us. Um, this one in particular is during his time um, serving with the Army in the Civil War with the Union. Um, and like I said, these encompass, you know, even into the administration, the presidential administration. Um, so these are also transcribed and available online as well. Um, we have a searchable database that you can use, utilize on our website. Um, over here on the far side, this is actually one of his early law notebooks. Um, he studied law um, and graduated from Harvard with his law degree. Um, there's a couple different versions of these. This particular um, version has two volumes. I brought out the first volume here. Um, down below here, this is actually a clipping service book. We have roughly 130 volumes of these types of binders. Um, these are strictly clippings of newspapers. And during his administration, it addresses certain, um, I guess, situations that he dealt with during his administration. So this one in particular talks about the railway strikes that he almost dealt with within the first few months of his presidency. Um, so some of them are labeled like that. Some of them are just more general current events during um, the administration of 77 to 81. Um, and if you can see on the side, they're labeled on the spines of those. These are a great resource also for um, his, the Great Western trip that he took. He was the first president to travel west. Um, and he didn't write about that a lot during his, the actual trip in his diaries, you know, surprisingly. So a lot of that information we actually glean from secondary resources, especially like these newspaper clippings are super important for that. Um, right here in front of me on the, Top of here is actually a account book from the White House during the administration. Um, you see the handwriting is very beautiful. Um, and this is actually just a account of maybe they ordered some ice. I see there's something about um, paying somebody just their, their current wages, um, also ordering meat, oysters, things like that. So it kind of shows, it's like a nice little history of like the day-to-day -day activities of the White House. Um, Surprisingly, I think receipts are pretty interesting to me. They tell a really cool story. If, if you do a little digging, um, you know, you can look in the diary. Maybe he'll mention um, eating something at a certain time or there was a big party. They saved everything. You can see these receipts and kind of like connect the dots on that stuff, which is kind of fun. So um, on the front side here, this is actually some of the um, incoming correspondence to President Hayes. We have boxes and boxes of these. These are um, arranged alphabetically um, and chronologically. Um, and some of them have these little inserts. If they were during the presidential administration, that gives a little synopsis of when they came into the White House. So they kind of logged it like that. On the other side here, right, would be the outgoing correspondence. Now these we don't have as many of or as many originals, obviously because outgoing, those are harder to come by because they left the facility they left his hands and those, those don't come back as easy. Um, for some that we don't have the originals, we have transcriptions or we have photostat copies of those versions as well. 
um, this particular one, he's writing to his eldest son, Birch. Um, apparently, Birch and is going to be visiting New York. Um, Hayes is going to New York, wants maybe Birch to visit as well, and is looking for an address of somebody that he's going to be visiting there. So, I um, mean, you'll notice the different styles of handwriting, obviously. Um, some think Hayes's handwriting is pretty hard to decipher, but I think if you're into it day to day and you're kind of familiar with it, pick up his little um, quirks. It's, it's not too bad, um, but he definitely has good days and bad days on the handwriting sometimes if you compare the different versions of the, of the documents here. Um, right here on this top version is a speech that he gave in, let's see, that one is May of 1880. Um, this was a speech that he gave to the um, let's see, yep, House of Representatives. I couldn't remember if it was Senate or House um, during, for an appropriation bill. Um, sometimes these are actually all transcribed and digitized, available on our website. Um, we either have like the original version. Sometimes it's a complete set. Sometimes it's just notes because you know when you're writing stuff, sometimes you'll like scribble up like Ugh, that didn't work. Hayes did that a lot, so some are a little incomplete. Some you can see where he changed his thought process, um, and we see, we see the entire thought process in the completion of that speech. Um, and then a lot of times we have the transcribed version. Again, these are also digitized and available online. So, um, but that's a little bit of a, a glean of what we have here in the in the Hayes manuscripts. Um, not just little pieces of paper, but also invitations. Sometimes we call a miscellaneous manuscript that doesn't maybe fit an entire collection. Um, so we'll put those and catalog those separately. This, for example, is special events, maybe um, invitations he received while he was not president specifically. Um, so those were, those were cataloged and, and put in a different box. So, um, but these are all available for research here at the, the library upstairs. Um, Research is free, come up and see us. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you.